Hi, it's Julie, welcome back. Today I'm gonna go over snail mucin in skincare. And if you're like me and most of us in the United States, snail mucin in skincare sounds terrible. It sounds gimmicky, it sounds gross and extreme, but I found out it really is an amazing ingredient to have in your skincare. I originally did a snail mucin, using snail mucin on my face video, I'll link it above. That was my introduction to snail mucin and surprisingly, I was okay with using it on my face. So this was the product that I reviewed then and it's the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence by CauseRx. It costs $19, I got it from Soco Glam. And what it is, is it is actually a great essence to use if your skin is feeling a little bit compromised. Say if you derma roll your skin or you have done a harsh exfoliation that you're concerned about or if you've gotten sunburned or if you shave your face like I do to get the peach fuzz off, this is an excellent product to use directly on your skin after that. It's very healing. This product is 96% snail secretion filtrate. It's good for all skin types. It's fragrance-free, water-based, absorbs quickly. I like to use this in the evening a couple times a week after I have done an acid peel or after I've shaved my face. This is when I like to use that. And then I follow it up with a moisturizer or facial oil or something like that. This is great for hydration. It's not super moisturizing. It really does absorb quickly and it's not as sticky as you think it would be. It has a little bit of a string to it when you put your fingers together and pull them apart. You can kind of see a little bit of a stringiness. I think this is a great ingredient to use to keep your skin smooth and healthy. So then um, the next one that I got that I was really surprised by is by Mizan. Looks like this. You can also buy a larger amount in a tub. This is by Mizan. Like I said, it's the multifunction formula all-in-one snail repair cream. It's 92% snail secretion. I use this in the daytime. I use it after I've put on my vitamin C and another serum and then I follow up with this. Um, and then I can put, if I need to, I can put a heavier moisturizer on top of it because it is very light. This is great for sensitive skin. It's very strengthening and it has peptides and hyaluronic acid in it. It's slightly tacky. I really have enjoyed this. I would definitely purchase this one again. That one is on sale right now for $13.90 on Wishtrend. And it has a slightly similar texture if you are using any Hada Labo products. That one feels a little bit like the Hada Labo Perfect Gel. This one does not have snail secretion, I don't believe, but it's similar in consistency. Then I saw on Sephora's website this brand I've never seen before, and it is Primary Raw, the Do You Soy Milk Facial Cream. Really cute packaging. I like the jar and the cute little paper top to it. It came with this um, plastic um, tool to scoop it out, but it came broken. But it looks very nice. I have other little scoops that I can use, but this is um, a slightly thicker cream than this uh, Mizan one. It is nice for all skin types. It has soy milk, rice bran water, ginkgo leaf, niacinamide, chamomile, and wheat germ in it. The snail mucin is 15th down on the list. It also has dimethicone and then close to the last ingredient is fragrance. It says it's good for redness and plumping, but I don't think I would purchase this one again because of the scent. It has a soapy sort of scent. I've not had any reaction to it. It's very gentle on my skin. It feels really nice, but I don't think I would purchase this again. One for the cost, it's $46. It's in a nice glass jar that I could reuse, but you don't get a ton of product and that soapy sort of scent is just too much for me. But I have used this at night. I've also used it after um, my serums in the morning before my SPF and it's worked out great. It's really, really nice. It does have a bit of a tackiness to it as well. But like I said, you can add your SPF on top of it to kind of cut that, or you can just put your foundation right on top if you want your foundation to really grab onto something. So 
So that Another thing I picked up on Sephora's site is by Volition and it's this Helix AM PM eye gel. It's really interesting because it is absolutely clear. And some people use this primarily as a primer instead of a moisturizer underneath their eyes because it is not very moisturizing. I found that to be the case. It is it is not very moisturizing, I'll just say that. You have to use the tiniest bit on your finger or it will pill up and not play nice with concealers or foundation or BBCC cream, things like that. It does um, have to be used very sparingly. It's also fairly expensive. It's $52 for this little teeny tub. Volition is a, a kind of a new brand to Sephora. It's one of their all clean brands or clean at Sephora brands. That means that it has a certain percentage of all clean ingredients. This is gluten-free, cruelty-free, hypoallergenic. It is supposed to be blurring, good for fine lines and wrinkles, puffiness and dryness. It's got collagen, elastin, and glycolic acid in it. So it is a really nice product, but I would not be repurchasing this one. So the next couple things I'm gonna show you, I was very surprised, had quite a bit of snail mucin in it. I think it's the second or fourth ingredient. The first one is, first ingredient is water, titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, and then comes the snail mucin. It is a brand that is not considered necessarily skincare, or this product, these products aren't, but it is developed by plastic surgeons. And this would be your IT CC, your skin but better, SPF 50 CC plus cream. <laughs> I never carefully read all of the ingredients. I did not know that this was so full of snail mucin and probably most of you out there using it because there's a lot of us don't know that that nice smoothing blurring texture that this gives you is predominantly caused by the snail mucin. So it is um, $38 at Ulta. It is such a popular CC cream. That's what I'm wearing today. I love it. It's my go-to. And now those of you who didn't know know that it is full of snail mucin. So you don't need to be afraid of it. It actually is a great ingredient to really help blur and smooth your skin. It is also in the It Cosmetics by, by Foundation. And same thing, it's like the second or fourth ingredient. It has it listed by active ingredients being the um, sunscreen and then the inactive. So I, that's why I'm not sure where it falls in the um, list of ingredients. This one is also at Ulta. It is $39. It's good for all skin types. And this one has seven fermented ingredients. Rice, coconut water, sea kelp, green and black tea, white ginseng, and pumpkin um, extract. This has um, powerful antioxidants and nutrition and intense moisture. And this makes me want to use this more the more I've been reading about it. I, both of these are excellent base products for your face. They do a great job evening your skin tone and they have great ingredients in them as well. If you're undecided, if you want to try one of these, I would suggest that you actually go to Sephora because there you can get a sample. So these two are great bases, excellent, I love them both. I will definitely be repurchasing one or both of them um, for sure in the future. And then the last two things that I tried were masks. And this one I got from Peach and Lily. It's the Chubby Cheeks Lift and Pump, it's a great name. I really liked this particular mask. It was excellent, it was $6. There's no alcohol in this. It's supposed to be hydrating, smoothing. It left my skin dewy and I really liked it. Um, snail mucin is about halfway down the list on this one. I would repurchase this again. And then the one that I wouldn't repurchase is by Misha. I got it at Target. It's the Super Aqua Cell Renewed Snail Hydrogel Mask. This one was also $6. Snail mucin is the third ingredient on this one. Sorry, it's dirty. You leave that one on for 20 to 40 minutes. The, the Peach and Lily one you leave on for 20 minutes. The Super Aqua has no scent, but it comes in like two pieces, but it didn't fit my face. The top one was way too large, so it had a nice amount of serum, but because it didn't fit me really well, 
I would definitely not be buying that again. It was just too much of a hassle. So those are my snail mucin products that I used. I would encourage you to try one just to see what it's, what it's like and what it does for your skin. It is actually such a good ingredient. It's great for um, rosacea and acne scars, all kinds of things, fine lines, all kinds of things. So be brave, go ahead and try it. I also wanted to let you know that I will be only uploading once or twice a week for the rest of the summertime. I've just been too busy and had too many other things going on. So I don't wanna be kind of tied down to the Tuesday, Friday, schedule so that will be a change for me this summer and then i missed the last two uploads because i've had an eye infection in my left eye <laughs> could not put any makeup on and it really did bother me thank you so much to all of you who watch and support and like and comment on my videos i really truly appreciate it i'm so grateful for all of you i hope you're having a great summer and i will see you next time